Hello everyone. I welcome you all to another episode on Little Sla. In the series of videos, we are seeing about various logical actions that we use in Neo Load Performance Testing Tool. Today, we are going to see about the switch logical action. I have distributed the I have divided the video into four different parts. First, let us see what is a switch logical action, how to add it. The second part will be recording a script and to add how to use switch. And the fourth part is the mistakes to avoid while using switch. So these are the four parts we are going to see today in the logical action switch. I welcome you all once again to Little Sla YouTube channel. And this is your Asan Shanmuga. First, what is switch logical action? The switch action is used to execute conditional actions based on the selection control mechanism. It allows the switch value to change the control flow of the user path execution through a multi-way branch named case statements. Let us add the switch and see what are the case statements. I'm moving to the actions area. I'm selecting this switch and I'm dragging and dropping it into a dummy script. And here you can see the case and the default. So the switch is action is composed of one or several case statements that are executed based on a defined value. So here we can define the value and we have the default statement that is executed if no other cases is matched. And in this area, we have this switch value and this is defined on the switch logical action node and it may be a variable or a static string. And next we have this case statement. So these case statements are the children of the switch logical action. So they are executed based on the case value that is defined in the switch condition. So if the break option is disabled, so here we have this break option. So if this, this is disabled, then the switch execution will continue the evaluation of next case statement. So that we will look at the end of what are the things that we have to avoid and what mistakes we have to avoid. Let me show how to duplicate another case statement. So right click on the case and click on duplicate. So you'll have a, another case statement. So same way you can add any number of cases. And here you can define the name of the case. So let me give it as case one. And then I select case two, case three, and then we have this default. So let's now record our pet store script and see how we can use the switch logical action in the script. Let's now start the recording. I'm selecting Google Chrome and we select delete cookies and clear cache by default and now I'm clicking on OK I'm clicking on So now let's enter the store. And next, let us sign in. I 
and now I'm signing in as user one. And let me add a few items in the cart. And let me add some products. And I'm now adding it to cart. And uh, here I'm updating the quantity. I'm basically leaving it as one, and I'm clicking on update cart. And now I'm clicking proceed to checkout. And now I'm clicking on continue. And finally, I'm confirming it. With that, we have the ordered items in the list. So let's now sign out. With that, we have recorded the script. So let's now validate the script and make it ready to add the switch statement. So far everything has gone fine. The script is working fine. We don't find any errors so far. So we have completed, we completed the validation. So let's now add the switch statement in the script. So now what we're going to do is we have added one item while we record the script. So using the switch statement, we are going to randomly change the number of items. So let's now bring the switch inside the script and then we will move this script inside the case statement. So we are moving it now. So if we are having it under the case. So let's now bring the logic. Also before that, we will create a variable. So the variable is going to be a random integer. Let's name it as update quantity. And the minimum value is going to be one and the maximum is going to be five for example and then 
we are going to keep it as on each iteration for value change policy and now let's apply and keep it ready so let's now copy it with the name of the variable and here let's define it so based on the quantity the case is going to get executed and based on that the quantity inside the script is going to get updated so let's now make those changes so here i'm giving us one and then let's add some duplicate cases for this i'm adding five cases to execute all those five different conditions i'm making it as two this is going to be three and four so let's don't uh, let's don't uh, don't have this as the case uh, case five instead we'll have that as a default one so in case if all the numbers are not from one to four and if it is a five the default case will be executed so then we have four cases and one default and now let's update the parameter let's now paste it into every case so based on the case we are going to update the quantity hope you understand the logic and then then let's have this same step inside the default as well so clicking on paste as child will bring it inside it and okay let's so everything is now updated and now we are ready so let's just check it once so now we are up keeping this update quantity variable as the switch value and based on this value all these cases are going to be executed so let's now move to the validation part and here we will make it as five iterations i'm clicking on ok so let's see how it goes So the script is working fine so far and we are yet to reach the switch statement let's wait for some more time to see it and now we have reached the switch statement and now the quantity is 5 so the default case is executed now let's see what we get in the next iteration and now we have entered the second iteration let's see what is the random number we are going to get and based on that the number of that case is going to get executed So the second iteration we have got again the number 5 
let's see what we are getting in the third iteration So this time we have got the switch value as one. So the case one has been executed. So which means we have updated one quantity. So, so far we have completed three iterations and we have two more iterations to complete. And now we have entered the fourth iteration. Let's see which case is going to get executed this time. And for the fourth time, we have got number three. So the th third case has been executed. And we have one more, which is the last iteration. So now we are in the last iteration. Let's see which case is going to get executed. So in the last iteration, again, we have got number three and we have completed we have completed all the five iterations so two times the fifth number which is the default and two times case number three and one time we have got case number one so with that we have found how this switch condition works so let's once confirm the orders i'm signing in as user one and i'm going to my account and my orders and here we have we can see the various orders two times three one time case number one and two times case number five so it is confirmed that the order has been processed successfully let's sign out and now let's see what are all the limitations that we have here so Some of the points or some of the mistakes that we have to avoid in the case are we should not disable this break. So disabling this break will make the case statements to continue without taking a break. So we have to be careful. So by default, this break statement is checked and that has to be checked to make this case statements execute correctly. And then we should be careful in naming the transactions. So we should avoid naming the transactions with the same case number twice or more than once. So we should be careful in naming the case definitions. So these are the two mistakes that we have to avoid as a performance tester while using the switch. So that's all for the switch statement we have for today. We will meet with another logical action in our next video. Thanks everyone. Kindly don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please comment your thoughts and your inputs in the comment section. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe.